it's the season of sours. I see that I've been doing quite a bit of them lately. And well, that's because uh, sours seem to be the summer style of beer. It seems to be even overtaking IPAs in some regard. There's just so many, so many sours and they are not my favorite beer style, but with that said, sometimes you get, you, you go to the LCBO and you see something like this and you're wondering, hmm, that sounds pretty damn good. So let's get into this. I've never had a honeysuckle before. Let's do this. Beer, 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 ba beer, ba beer, beer, beer. Hello everybody, welcome back to me, Nate Brewski, from the Rooski Brewski Review. And today the beer that I have for you guys is by Cowbell Brewing Company. They're out in Blythe, Ontario, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, Blythe, Ontario. And we have their new fruit sour pomegranate and a honeysuckle. I have no idea what a honeysuckle is. It's just a fun, fun word to say. Honeysuckle. It rolls off the tongue quite nicely. But pomegranate and honeysuckle, very excited. 4% ABV. How many IBUs? 10 IBUs. Pomegranate, nice and red. I would assume this beer has some color to it. And I always like colorful beer, so let's crack this bad boy open. Let's see what we got. I think it's going to be a fuller can. Yep. It is going to be a very full can. Very excited. Ooh. I already see pink head, good to go. Nickelbrook Brewing pint glass. And I just noticed I'm doing a beer on Cowbell, have a Nickelbrook glass and wearing a Muskoka Brewery t-shirt. It's just a, it's a, uh, it, it's a, it's a jumbled up mix of, of breweries representation here. Fun stuff, let's give it a pour. Let's see, oh yeah, that's a pretty color. It is a very pretty color. It's about a little more than half the beer there. Looking at the beer, oh, why is that glass dirty? It's washed, I swear. I don't know, whatever, that's fine. Looking at the beer itself, very, very clear, very red, light pink head on top, looking fan freaking tastic. It looks more like juice or like a cranberry, um, cranberry ginger ale almost, or just like a, like a pop. Like if this, if this glass was just sitting here, maybe not in a beer glass, but in a, in a regular glass and I was passing by, I'm like, oh, that looks like a very uh, delicious pop. And it looks actually like a very delicious beer. So be careful when you have these around. Um, and if there's, there's, there's underage people walking around, they might think this is a, a, a fruity pop. And it, no, it's not, it's beer. So just be careful. That, that's one thing to know. Pretty cool, let's have a smell. I wouldn't say sour on the nose. I'd definitely say tart pomegranates. Yeah, smells very pomegranate-y. Somewhat cranberry-esque as well. No, definitely, definitely pomegranate. Honeysuckle? I have no idea what that looks like, what that tastes like, what that smells like. So, we gonna learn today. But yeah, very fruity. Quite fruity indeed. Light, refreshing, tart, not sour on the nose. We gotta see how that translates into into the uh, into the flavor. So let's have a sip. Mmm, that is pretty damn good. That is definitely more on the tart end of things, not the sour end. Yes, uh, people can still, I guess, see it as being sour, but I would say definitely tart, tart, tart. In indeed, pomegranates are already fairly tart. They're not sour, they are tart. I'm saying tart a lot. Take a drink every time I say tart. Tart, 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 tart. This is pretty damn good though. Beautiful pomegranate. Don't know anything about honeysuckle like I said, so we just gotta keep on drinking. So cheers everybody. Let's keep on drinking. Yeah, fairly tart pomegranate. Be, uh, pomeg yeah, pomegranate. Absolutely beautiful. Again, no idea what honeysuckle is, but that's really what you're getting. It's just like, um, yeah, a little bit of beer, like traditional beer flavored in the back. Bready. Yeah, bready. Somewhat, not biscuity, bready. Yeah. But beautiful at the same time. 
refreshing as all hell, light bodied, nice effervescence, not overly done, not minimal at all, a nice medium, but also the flavor, the tartness of it, or the sourness of it, however you, you describe it yourself, is uh, it, it, it hits in a, in a beautiful manner, not overly sour, not overly tart, but a nice solid bit, and then it finishes fairly clean, leaving you with a nice pomegranate sweetness as well. So this is a beautiful, beautiful beer. This is ooh, one of those sours that I can definitely get behind and, and definitely enjoy a few of. They're, they're not those sours that will just destroy your palate and make sure, you, you know, you might not be able to handle another one. This is a beautiful beer. Yeah. This is damn good. That is really friggin' good. Cowbell, good stuff. Pomegranate, honeysuckle, fruit, sour, like I said, 4% ABV, 10 IBUs. Description here. Pomegranate, honeysuckle is a tantalizing fruit sour showcasing juicy and tart berry flavors. Brewed with Hallertour Blanc hops, pomegranate, and honeysuckle, the sour boasts delicate notes of elderberries and cases. C-A-S-S-I-S. -S -S. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Cassis? Cases, I'm not too sure. But yes, definitely berries, pomegranate, honeysuckle. Again, no idea. Very beautiful elderberries. Not too sure what those are. Cassis cases, I have no idea either. A lot of stuff I don't know that's going on in this beer. But it is fairly fruity. Beautiful tartness to it. Bringing it home. Definitely something, definitely a sour for sure, that I think a lot of people can get behind and really enjoy, even if they don't like sours on, on, on such a large scale. This is, I think, this, a sour for the people. A vibrant balance of light, sweet, and tart fruit flavors, pomegranate and honeysuckle is brim, brimming with berry and tropical notes. Pairs perfectly with summer. That indeed. Also, Five cents from every can goes to one of Ontario's four children's hospitals. So, you can feel good by picking up this beer. As well, we have ABV 4%, 10 IBUs, SRM is 15. Temperature to serve it at is 3 degrees Celsius. Glassware seems to be a just a somewhat of a rendition of a pint glass. I don't remember the exact name. Uh, pairing, Greek salad, brie, tacos, and chocolate mousse. The tasting notes are pomegranate, blackberry, tart, cherry. I don't know why I didn't get that blackberry or tart cherry, but tart cherry can definitely fit in here. Blackberry. Yeah, I can see it. You can also see raspberry. Tartness for, of cranberries as well. If you want to throw that in there to the mix, you definitely can. I don't see why not. Like I said, like I've always said, sorry, is that everybody tastes something just a little bit different. On the bottom for a package on date, we have hmm, 420. Blaze it! <laughs> 420, the fourth, uh, sorry, the 20th of August. Do right, do the right things, or do the right thing, like that. Good stuff. I don't know what that means in terms of package on dates, but hey, there you go. Do the right thing. Maybe I get it. Do the right thing. Put on a packaged on or best before date on each can. I see you there. I see you there, Cowbell. Beautiful. Moving over to the website, cowbellbrewing.com. You go to the beer section, and you're not going to find the pomegranate honeysuckle, which is kind of odd. One of the things I'm not a, not, not, not a big fan of is when breweries put out a new beer but don't have information on it on their main beer page. But, thankfully, it is on their online store. And with that, you get the same descriptions from the can on here. You also get your ABV, IBU, SRM, and temperature. And yeah, you get all the information that's on the can on the website, excluding the tasting notes and food pairings, which even better because they are on the can, so you don't even have to worry about that stuff. But yeah, just it just bums me out that when breweries bring out new beer that they don't have a place for them on their website. Not all of them do it, but I've noticed that quite a bit on, on a few. So, you know, you still get marks, in my opinion, for the presentation side of things because, well, you can still find information. 
On untapped, pomegranate and honeysuckle has been given a 3.64 bottle caps out of 5, and that's out of 490 ratings. Not too bad at all. And finally, if you find yourself in the LCBO, the pomegranate honeysuckle will be selling for $3.70. Seems a little pricey to me, to be honest. But you are getting a damn good beer. Is it $3.70, you know? You know, I guess, uh, d d does that make sense? I would say not really for a single can. If you really like them and get a lot from their uh, online store, I would assume that it gets a little cheaper that way. But still, if you're just trying it for the first time, you're like, not, 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 not too, too bad. You are getting a damn good beer, so you're not wasting any money by any means. Especially if you love sours, this is definitely right up your alley. Speaking of the prices on the website, uh, for a single can, again, 370. For eight cans, you're paying 25 bucks. For 16 cans, it goes up to 48. And for 24 cans, you're looking at $72. And those include, they include the HST, which is 13% here in Ontario, and the 10 cents can deposit. Also, if you're ordering online, they are only available to ship out to you in the province of Ontario. So, sorry everybody else in Canada, the United States, around the world. It's just here for us Ontarians. So, things to note, they list all those disclaimers on their store website as well. So, you have, uh, you're, you're going to know before you buy, which is always awesome. But yeah, pretty damn good beer. I like it because it isn't sour per se it is definitely on the tart side of things definitely fruity though light not abrasive not abusive to your palate either which some sours can be this one's definitely on the leaner side i love the flavors of it i love also how like i said earlier is that the flavors that they, they, they drop off in a very nice manner but don't leave any uh, off lingering or, or, or aggressive lingering flavors it finishes very clean Pretty damn good stuff. Cheers and final sip. Let's go eat dreams and wrap this thing up. Damn, that's good. And it looks pretty. Cowbell Brewing, pomegranate and honeysuckle. By far one of one of the one of the sours that are definitely up there. Get definitely gets a rebuy for me. This thing is damn good. It is it is refreshing. It is flavorful, but it also gives you a nice kick of sourness, a nice kick of tartness in there. You are good to go without being overly palate abusing, which is always a good mark for me. Pomegranate and honeysuckle gets a solid damn, gets a solid nine out of ten for me. As for presentation, beautiful. You get a little farmstead, a lot of pinks, a lot of rosés, a little bit of yellows, whites, some black notes in there as well for colors. You get a lot of information. All this stuff on the side here, if it focuses, there you go, look at that, beautiful. You get a whole nice description as well, and you get a canned on date or packaged on date on the bottom, clearly labeled. You, the consumer, are good to go, you got all the information you want, food pairings and tasting notes, even on the can, extra bonus points there. Website, bummed, that it's, and, and bummed and confused that it's not on the beer section of, of the website, but on the online store gives you all the information you need. A little bit less than the can, but hey, you want all the information? It's right there on the can for you guys. So easier, easy, breezy, beautiful cowbell brewing. See what I did there? Clever. But yeah, presentation gets a solid, who gets a solid, oh damn it is a really good presentation, gets a solid nine out of 10 as well. The only reason, because it's not on the beer page. It doesn't make sense to me, but hey, nine out of 10, not bad at all. Before I leave you guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers on review in the future, you can leave all that information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Maple Rooster, would greatly appreciate it as well. And with all that said, that's going to do it for me, Maple Rooster, like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers. I may have poured a bit too much because I want to enjoy more of this and this is the last bit that I have. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Cheers.